Welcome back to our super simple farming game. We have some stuff going on here. We have our little farmer robot. He can plant seeds and he can water them. And the seeds that he waters eventually grow into carrots. After we have carrots, we can harvest those. We'll just water these other ones, but we can't really do anything after that. We do have a little fence here that we can't walk through. We have a little path and we have a farm stand that he can kind of go up to. There's a little guy waiting there ready to help him, but we can't actually do anything. So I think it's time that we add some kind of money system and at least maybe do the start of uh, being able to buy things or sell things. And let's, uh, let's just kind of get something going here, I think. So the first thing we'll need is some kind of money icon. So let's uh, just put this down here maybe. Let's maybe just make like a coin or something. Let's just have a coin kind of on its side maybe. We'll have kind of the edge to the coin like this. Yeah, seems like it'd work. Yeah, let's just go with that for a coin and we'll make a little outline for it like this. Okay, all right. So there's our coin and let's push this to the right just because our seed packet is to the right too. It's just gonna work better. Okay, so that's 17. And we want this little thing to show up like right here by our seeds. We might eventually do kind of a different kind of inventory or HUD, but for now we're trying to keep this as simple as possible. So we're just gonna put an icon here. So here in our third tab for inventory, let's to the left of the seeds, let's go ahead and draw our coin. And we'll put this above our seeds just because we're kind of moving from left to right. But it doesn't really matter where we put this. It's uh, it's going to draw it where we say to draw it here in the print. So um, first of all, it's going to be Sprite 17. We'll just go ahead and print seeds for now. And it's going to be like 20 over, so maybe 74. Let's see if that works. Save run. Okay, it's not printing the right... Yeah, 17. Hmm, wonder why that's not working. It's because it's showing up right under our seeds. So... We need this to be 64, save run. There we go. So there's our coin, and this number is actually our seeds. So we need to make a variable for our coins. So let's just call this a gold equals, let's say gold equals five for now. And we're gonna print gold. There we go, save run. There we go, we got five gold. Okay, so we have five gold. We should be able to do something with it. So why don't we start with zero seeds and we'll let him go over to this shop and spend gold on seeds. And the way that we're going to do that is he's going to go over here and let's test and see if he's on this little patio. And if he is, then we can buy things basically. So uh, let's actually do this in a similar way that we did planting the seeds, water patches, and that kind of thing. So let's just add this as an else if. I think that would work. And that's going to go right here. Let's just say else if this stuff. We're going to uh, spend money, spend gold. And so what do we want to happen when we are over a certain flag? Let's go ahead and make this a certain flag. So let's see, the other flags that we have are flag three. I guess it's flag zero and flag two. Let's make this flag one, why not? Okay, and it's kind of golden, so it works. So if we're over something with flag one, it's gonna be like this, and we get to spend gold. So if gold is greater than zero, then seeds plus equals one, gold, Minus equals one. I think that's all we need to do. Save run. So now we go over here and if we hit X, nope, doesn't work. Hmm. If gold is greater than zero, do, 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 do. seeds plus equals one. Hmm. Hmm. I broke something. Okay. All right. So I just switched this to flag three and turn these to flag three for whatever reason. It doesn't like flag one and I'm not sure. Oh, oh, it's because grass is flag one. Oh, there must be something that I'm doing with my auto tile or something that I forgot. Anyway, the basic idea is that now you can go over to the stand and hit X and spend gold on seeds and then go plant the seeds, water them. Yeah. And now let's make it so we can sell the carrots. So we'll just say if gold is greater than zero, then we sell the seeds for gold. But we want to be able to sell carrots too. So why don't we sell carrots if we hit the other button? We'll eventually want a menu or something. But let's just see how this works. Button X. So let's say if button P O, then we'll put in the same flag F get. So we'll say um, sell carrots. So we'll say if carrots are greater than zero, then gold plus equals one, and then carrots minus equals one. Save run. So now we should be able to buy some carrots or buy some seeds with gold. Then we can water them, and then the carrots pop up. Then we should be able to go over and hit Z on the keyboard to sell the carrots for more gold. Great. 
We should sell those for two gold though, so that we actually make a profit. And yeah, now we have a basic system here where we have some money and we can uh, we can make a living here out on the farm. That's, uh, that's a good time. Harvest our carrots. Now we go over here, sell our carrots. Now we have 10 gold, we can buy 10 carrots. And we also harvested seeds from the carrots, which we can keep or not keep, whatever we wanna do. But now we can harvest a bigger crop and go over and sell them. And we have 32 and so on. So now we can just go crazy. A few seeds here. Let's buy some more seeds. Yeah, look at this. We are well on our way to world domination when it comes to this tiny farm. <laughs> look at that, that's so fun. All right, what should we build next? What, what comes next? What do you think? Let me know in the comments and we'll make it. And just a reminder, if you don't know how any of this works, if you haven't really worked with Pico 8, I have a course for beginners. It's called Pico 8 Noob to Pro. There's a link in the description. Come and join, it's a good time. All right, hey, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you later.